this week's feast. Gilgamesh's pie from the Eternals. <laughs> Today we partnered with Disney to bring you a recipe from Marvel Studios' Eternals. The film just came out on Blu-ray, so you can finally watch it at home in all of its high-def glory. This recipe is extra special because we are making Gilgamesh's blueberry pie. And Gilgamesh is played by none other than one of my favorite actors, Don Lee. If you don't know who Don Lee is, you are missing out. He carries an absolute presence with him in everything he's done, and you might recognize him from his breakout performance in Train to Busan. He plays Gilgamesh in Eternals, who is considered the strongest and kindest of the entire team, because duh, when they meet up with him, he's looking just stacked in this adorable apron, and he's also in the middle of baking a pie, because that's what strong men do. Now, Gilgamesh notably drops the pie in the scene because of the sad news he's just received, but fortunately for us, we get to see exactly what's inside, and it looks like some goopy blueberry. This pie boasts a very thick crust, and it's just filled to the point where it's coming out of the cast iron with a crimped edge and five slits in the middle. Let me just tell you, our final pie turned out superb, with a couple of words to the wise before we start. One, you should never ever use your bare hands to grab an extremely hot cast iron pan. Let Gilgamesh handle that. Two, don't attempt crushing it in your hands either. If you've ever picked up one of these pans, you'd know why. They're heavy. All right, let's bake. To do this recipe right, we have to make one of the best doughs ever. It's got to sustain and hold in a big cast iron pot and not break apart when you cut it open. Thankfully, the handy dandy Feast of Fiction cookbook has a great recipe that we doubled for this special pie. And there are plenty more where that came from. Once your dry ingredients are combined in a large mixing bowl, add in room temperature butter, cubed or sliced up, and then use a fork or pastry cutter to mix it in with the flour. Since we have so much dough, we use the handheld food processor to do it chunks at a time. Whatever you do end up using, try to be as thorough as possible. It will make a big difference in the final dough. Once the flour resembles coarse crumbs, knead it together with your hands or a stand mixer, and add in one tablespoon of cold water at a time until a smooth dough forms. From here, divide the dough into two equal parts and smack it out a bit until you can start rolling it out with a rolling pin. Flour your surface and as you roll, make sure to maintain a steady pressure and roll all the way across the dough, switching to opposite angles each time. We love using a mat to roll on like this so you know what direction to roll to make it circular and also the exact diameter. Because we're putting this base layer into the cast iron pan, you will want to roll it at least 3 inches past the actual diameter of the pan because the dough will ride up and out the sides. As you can see here, we have a 10 inch diameter pan so we need to roll our dough to around 13 inches. Once it's done, use a rolling pin to gather it up. Place the cast iron in the middle and then reverse the rolling process to get that dough over the entire surface. Carefully go around the entire pan and press the dough down to the bottom and the sides, but don't exert too much pressure, just enough for it to stick and not move anywhere. Remove your cast iron and repeat the process for the remainder of your dough, getting it to about the same diameter of a few inches more than the pan. Roll this up and chill both the doughs in the refrigerator for at least two hours. In order for the blueberry filling to hit just right, we're going to need to make it thick, goopy, and also hold its form when we cut into it. We're combining a ton of blueberries, over six cups of them together with lemon juice, sugar, lemon zest, ground cinnamon, and cornstarch, which will really add to the thickness and ooze factor of the filling when it's finished baking. Mix this really thoroughly and make sure all of the ingredients completely have combined while taking care to not rupture too many of the blueberries. We recommend keeping them very cold or having just thawed them out before mixing this recipe together. Now take your pan out from the fridge, let it warm up for about a half hour and pour in your blueberry filling. Now you don't need to worry about spreading it perfectly evenly. Just make a mound in the center and it's going to naturally flatten and spread as it cooks. Grab your other pie crust and carefully place it on top of the cast iron, making sure it covers the entire pie. Trim around the outside to clean it up, but still leave some dough hanging over the edge. Grabbing the dough at the edges, pull it up and curl it under itself so it rests on top of the cast iron pan's edges, and continue doing this all the way around, pressing and molding and pressing and molding so it is evenly distributed. Using a butter knife, make small divots all the way around the pie crust, kind of like it's a clock. Use that same knife to create a star-shaped pattern around the center of the pie with the small slits. Then use the knife to widen them just a little bit so they can be air vents for the pie. Because there's so much liquid trapped in the blueberries, baking this pie means a ton of steam is going to get released. And so this makes sure that our pie doesn't explode and looks awesome when it's finished. 
brush an egg wash over the entire surface of the pie and throw it in the oven. Now about halfway through, you're gonna remove this from the oven, sprinkle on some sugar, put it back in, do it one more time for another egg wash. The baking process is surprisingly complex, so make sure that you check out the full recipe in the show more box below. And trust us, you'll want to, because when this pie is done, voila. Wow. You better be subscribed to this channel if you want to keep seeing amazing food creations like this, especially this recreation from Eternals. Gilgamesh has had a near eternity to perfect this pie recipe, and we are happy to say that we nailed it. It's got that perfect golden glow, and it's baked to perfection. Now be careful, you do not want to cut into this right away because the insides will just fall apart. Kind of exactly what happened in the movie. And because this is a cast iron, that means it's going to take even more time to cool, so be patient. When you do finally cut it open, man oh man, be prepared for a blueberry filled delight. We love just how stuffed this thing is and the blueberries stay right where they're supposed to. This is filled to the brim with deliciousness and the crust on top and on bottom is perfect flakiness. Do Gilgamesh and Don Lee proud and display your kindness by making it for your friends. You won't regret the results and neither will they. It will live on in their memories eternally. Cheers. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I am so excited. I love blueberry pie. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Oh my. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Cobbler Look pie at is my favorite dessert. Look at this color. Look at the consistency. Look at the texture. Thick. You want a piece of this. This is incredible. You know, big shout out to Don Lee in the Eternals because he looks the part. He's flexing. He's big. Of oh, course man. he's gonna make a pie like this. It's a massive pie. And I love the thickness of the blueberry consistency. I can't get over it. Mm -hmm. When it drops out of the pie in the movie, it looks super goopy. And I think they did it because of the comedic effect. But when we're gonna make a pie, it has to sustain itself through gravity. And that's what makes this recipe so very special. Also, it's so cool. It's like the perfect ratio. It's like mm. a little bit of crust and a lot of filling, and it's just so yummy and fresh tasting. And it's, warm. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, I, <laughs> I'm devouring this right I now. I <laughs> really, really love it. Big props to Ashley for making these incredible fans that you can crush <laughs> like you're John Lee. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, so when you're sad so about anything in life, you can take it out on a cast iron pan instead. Look at this. This looks amazing. This is like a movie prop quality. <laughs> Incredible. Just call me prop master. Eternals is out right now on Blu-ray. I love watching things in super high quality and Blu-rays have one of my favorite things in the world, bonus features. We, we don't get bonus features anymore. And I mm. love seeing bonus features, especially for movies like this, because even just watching the scene that this is from, they put so much care and effort into every little detail, to the apron that he's wearing, yeah. all the little things that's weathered, and what everyone's doing, and even the pie recipe and the, the pan. We had to just recreate some of that. You can buy the Blu-ray pretty much anywhere, and if you want to watch this incredible movie, you should do so, because mm -hmm. the cast is lights out. Really, I wish I could say more, but I'm mm. just too busy eating, which Me means- Me too. This recipe is bomb. Mm -hmm. As always, guys, leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see us make next. It could be from anything, a video game, a movie, a franchise, whatever you want. We are here to serve you, our awesome community. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>